All right, in the third section of this chapter, I wanna talk about expectation. And expectation is simply um, what you would expect to happen if you did the same experiment over and over again. Um, what would you expect to happen, basically, uh, in the long run? So kind of like talking about average, uh, what's the average thing that you would expect to happen? Um, so we're gonna talk about a situation where you're flipping a coin four times and I wanna know how many heads I would expect to get. So what I did, I actually wrote out um, what could possibly happen. And you'll see that over here um, on the left, I've got uh, heads, 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 then heads, 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 tails. I listed all 16 possibilities and with each outcome, I listed how many heads are in that outcome. So for example, heads, 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 tails, there's three heads there. And then from there, since there were 16 outcomes, the probability of having a certain number of heads in my outcome, um, I just looked at the different numbers of each number. So for example, only one of the 16 outcomes had no heads at all. Four of the 16 outcomes had one head, two of them, or sorry, six of them had two heads, uh, four of them had three heads, and only one of them had four heads as the outcome. So here's how I figure out expected value. I call it E of X, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sum up each possible X from the first row of my table and multiply that by the probability associated with that X. So in short, what I'm doing is I'm multiplying all the columns, um, so zero times one over six, one times four over 16, two times, and so on, and I'm adding all of that up. Okay, so it's 0 times 1 over 16 plus 1 times 4 over 16 plus 2 times 6 over 16 plus 3 times 4 over 16 plus 4 times 1 over 16. And if I add all of that up, I get 32 over 16, which is 2, which is what I would expect to happen. Um, heads shows up about half the time. So if I'm flipping a coin four times, I would probably expect to see, on average, uh, two heads out of every four flips. So that's what I'm expecting to happen, and that's the concept of expectation. All right, let's look at another example, um, one that is not as fair as the previous example. Let's say I have a six-sided die that has a one, two twos, and three threes on it, um, instead of the numbers one through six. So you roll the die twice, and I wanna know how many twos I can expect to come up. All right, so X is gonna be the number of twos that are rolled, and so just so that I know, um, a one is gonna show up one-sixth of the time, a two is gonna show up two-sixths of the time, and a three is gonna show up three-sixths of the time, because that's the way the die is set up. And once I've, what I've done again is I have um, figured out all nine possible things that can happen, along with how many twos show up um, in that event. And just like in the last example, um, I figured out what the probabilities were, so the probability of no twos would be 16 out of 36. The probability of um, one two would be 16 out of 36, and the probability of two twos would be four out of 36. All right, so what I do is the same thing that I did before. I take each x and multiply it by the probability associated with that x. So zero twos had a probability of 16 over 36, one two had a probability of 16 over 36, and two twos had a probability of four over 36. So I am multiplying those pairs together, adding it all up, and I get a weird number like 24 out of 36. So that's how many twos I'm expecting to see. 24 36 of a two, which is less than, it's gonna happen less than once. Um, and it really doesn't make sense, but remember we're thinking about expectation as things that are going on in the long run. So think about me um, conducting this experiment 36 times. I would expect to see 24 twos out of the 36 trials. Okay, so it makes a little bit more sense when you think about it in terms of um, what's going to happen on average in the long run if I repeat this over and over again. So that's expectation, um, and if you have any questions on this, please let me know and I'll see you tomorrow.